Thanks for joining us here on Cronon. I'm Noelle Bello. The Supreme Court has ruled that despite counties being in the purple reopening tier across California, churches can reopen for in-person services. Of course, with some restrictions still, though. Joining me now with reaction is San Francisco Archbishop Salvatore Cotillone. Father, thank you for joining us. You know, it's uh, been a long fight during the pandemic uh, for churches to try and reopen indoors in some capacity. When you heard that the Supreme Court uh, ruled in favor of churches, what was your reaction? Naturally, I was very happy, very encouraged and reassured that the Constitution still matters and still has effect. Uh, we've been committed to keeping our people safe in worship from the very beginning. We have safety protocols that have been scientifically demonstrated to, to work. So this is not some kind of a carte blanche for churches to crowd people inside and, and spread the virus. We have to be safe, but the decision doesn't change the science. Before this decision, it was safe for us to celebrate our service indoors, and it still is now. Uh, so my instruction to my priest doesn't change. Being outside is an extra safety precaution. So I'm asking them to do it outside, the mass outside, when it's possible, when it's safer to be inside, to go inside and follow our safety protocols. What this does change is that we can now exercise our constitutionally protected natural right to worship God without fear of harassment from the government. Mm. It is 25% capacity, correct? Yes. Yes, so that puts us on a par with... Uh, secular activities such as indoor retail. Okay. I remember one of the last times you and I talked, you said, you know, the way that the reopenings were going, it seemed like um, shopping for shoes was being deemed more important than yes. being able to gather and, and worship the Lord. Can you talk to me a little bit about the other precautions that you all have taken um, to make sure that, that folks stay safe if they do practice indoors? Yes, uh, some things are um, easily, easy to imagine. It's uh, the social distancing. People are required to wear masks. Uh, the surfaces are cues and high touch surfaces are sanitized between services. Doors and windows are left open for ventilation and people don't have to touch the door handles when they walk in the church. Uh, many places take their temperature. They give their contact information just in case, God forbid there's an infection that will assist with contact tracing. Uh, the queues are roped off to make sure people stay six feet apart. The aisles are marked if they're six feet apart when they're going up for communion. The minister who gives communion wears a face covering. Um, so these are a number of the safety protocols that we have in place. Of course, you know, we are actively getting our most vulnerable vaccinated across the state of California. Doctors definitely don't want us going backwards. What's your advice to elderly church members who are more vulnerable to COVID-19 at this time? Certainly, I, like other bishops, have granted a dispensation for people in our religion. It's, a, it's an expectation, an obligation to worship on Sunday, but I've dispensed that during the, this pandemic. So especially for people who are elderly or at, at higher risk of being infected and more severely affected if they get infected, that uh, they should uh, continue to stay home and uh, follow by live stream. And uh, our, our parish priests and ministers can visit the homes and bring people communion. A priest can uh, visit people to uh, give them the sacrament of confession. So it's possible to maintain the sacramental life, even if it's in kind of this sort of mitigated way. Mm -hmm. Um, when were you able to open indoors at all during this pandemic prior to this? Well, that's kind of a long involved story when uh, way back in June, when uh, we were told that uh, the city was going to open up for worship, uh, I anticipated that um, and, and told my priest to observe the safety protocols. Uh, and then so some churches were having indoor services, but then it didn't open up. Uh, so mm. that went on for a while. Then we went back to live streaming masses, then we had smaller groups outdoors. I was concerned about Christmas as Christmas was arriving with winter, uh, it's too cold at early in the morning and at night. So I asked the priest, this was the instruction I gave to them uh, when I, we saw the court decisions going the way that they were to continue to celebrate the mass outside, if that's mm -hmm. possible, but if because of weather or other safety concerns, it's safer to be indoors, to go indoors and follow the safety protocols. So some of our churches were having uh, services indoors at Christmas and since Christmas. Not most of them, but some have. 
Okay, and and no reports of of large um, outbreaks of COVID at any of those churches, correct? No, correct. Okay. Um, anything else you'd like to share with uh, parishioners or, or folks who are uh, of the Catholic faith or, or any faith really that are um, you know hearing this news for the first time when it comes to how you expect them to to practice uh, going forward? Yes. To please remember, we have to continue to be safe. Again. The court decision doesn't change the science. We need to continue to practice these, these safety protocols, uh, but it's an acknowledgement. We have this right. The government can't tell us we can't worship or issue restrictions so severe as to practically ban it. I also want to thank Catholics and others who have joined us in this effort to free up our churches for worship, and they can continue to follow our activity at freedomass.com, the website we set up when we're beginning this effort. Well, we do know that, uh, of course, Ash Wednesday and the Lenten season is coming up. So a lot of folks who missed out on going to church uh, throughout that season last year, I, I know, are probably looking forward to being able to celebrate um, in some capacity uh, this year. Thank you so much for joining us, Archbishop. You're welcome. My pleasure.